It is System 3 through 7 day here at Chris's Pinball Repair. And this board pair, MPU and driver board, is from a Warlock. And I'll label those ROMs before it gets out of here. And this was probably the dirtiest MPU I've ever seen in my life. It was it's almost like it was laying on the floor of a chicken coop for several years. I had to wash it twice with Castrol Super Clean. But you can see it cleaned up pretty good. So I installed NVRAM. I replaced the 40-pin connector on both sides of the MPU and the driver board. And I replaced the power input filter cap, headers all the way around. And I installed a blanking indication. I did that on the previous board set, the flash board set too. On System 7, there's some traces that lend themselves nicely to installing a blanking. Where the LED is, you can see there, you can route the flat side of the LED to the hole just southwest of it. And then the battery trace goes underneath, comes out here. And this is a 150 ohm resistor that you solder from this hole to, you can tack solder it on this ground trace. The driver board headers all the way around. It had a problem with one of the lamp rows, and I replaced this 2N6122, not a TIP-102. The power input filter cap, and oh, I implemented the FET mod to this board too, which was burnt quite a bit. The big current limiting resistors, 27 ohm current limiting resistors were roasty toasty. They still work sometimes, but this will take the heat off of this circuit board permanently. So we've got 1K resistors here, 1K on the back side of the board, and these are mm, IRF 9530 FETs. So it's all hooked up along with the soundboard for it. So let's boot it up. <coughs> Excuse me. And we can see that the lamp matrix is operating. And the only coil it's on is coil 16, which is the coin lockout. So going into test. And we flip the auto manual switch to auto. And the displays are working perfectly. And the next test on a system seven board is sound test. So you'll see this LED walk its way up as Normally you'd be hearing a sound for each one of those, but this just proves that the PIA that drives those is working properly. Lamp test. <clears throat> working correctly. And the next test is coil test. And it's gonna go through the first 16 uh, coils and then the special solenoids. I'm gonna rake the Special solenoids while we're at it here. Two, three, four, five, six. Let me do that again. And you can see that the switch inputs for the special solenoids are working properly. So that was all of the coils. The display looks funny as it's going through here because this is a system three through six display panel. And of course, system seven used seven digit displays. So the next test is switch test. And I have my Penny Tech tester again, handy dandy. And you can see across player one and two, it's showing you the switch that I'm pressing, which is all column one. Hmm, hold on a second. Nothing but the highest production values here. Chris Hibbler Pinball. Let's see if I can avoid dropping that again. So where were we? Oh boy. <laughs> this is a mess. So let me go through column one backwards this time. I really need to connect up my switch test a little better here. Sorry about that. Okay, and the last switch on uh, this game is 38. No, 
39. Sorry, Warlock is switch 39. So all those switches are good to go. If you don't have vertigo by now, I congratulate you. System 7 games, you can advance through the audits and adjustments and the game will reboot. Here you can see that the blanking LED is turned on. Let me show you what the seven segment LED does. Flashes a zero and then it goes off, which is correct. So this, oh, I'm sorry. Let me test the soundboard. I'll show you in a minute, but the soundboard for Warlock has a ROM that's unique and it does not play diagnostic sounds when the diagnostic button is pressed on the soundboard. And I had to replace this diagnostic button because the, the original one didn't have the spring any longer and it would no longer return. So let me uh, walk through the sounds. And these are, this is a firepower ROM that I have in there now. I've got my homemade tester to ground the uh, sound selects. <laughs> So that is all working properly. Let me show you the diagnostic button with Firepower ROM. And normally there, you would have heard the voices, but we don't have a voice board connected to this. Now let me put the Warlock ROM in and I'll show you what happened. Okay, we are back with the Warlock ROM. I've just booted the game. So listen, let's listen to some Warlock sounds. And let's try the test button, which will not work. Something odd about that Warlock ROM. I wonder why Williams chose to not implement that function. Anyway, this board set is good to go, and I thank you so much for sending it.